up to Panama right now. Panama is a small village located in the eastern province of Sri Lanka. The region is also known for its peaceful and tranquil environment, making it ideal for relaxation. We're entering now to this Panama Surf Point. From the main road, this is the entrance. So, when you're entering the direction to Panama Surf Point, I've noticed there is like a cemetery here. You'll find a lot around the place and I've noticed the cemetery in this country after they put the dead, dead body on the land uh, after that that's it not like you know uh, in Philippines every November 1 the day of the dead they always come and visit the cemetery to their relatives and they offer something like food and anything some of the cemetery even they build it like a house for that dead body but for me i'm not getting the point of doing it i know it's uh it's like a culture of religion but for me it's a dead body already what you can do with the dead body it's dead it's like a tree it was alive before you nurture it you like water it you take care of it because it's still alive but when the tree is dead then there's nothing you can do about it it's already a dead thing it's a dead thing you understand about dead thing dead human dead anything that's the dead thing let's proceed <laughs> Vegetarian Rasta Farai. Ikaw, say tripping ni mo. Rasta Farai. Luckily, oh. they're eating this, these things. So that black mambo monkeys, they're actually eating this. It looks like a banana, <laughs> right? Those are the things they're eating. And inside, there is some something like, you know, it's like a very soft, you see? 
like a like a fiber cha mm mm smells good it smells banana actually hmm yeah mm. so those are those are the rating this piece i'll show you exactly <laughs> it's like banana see yeah mm. interesting So, before you reach to the uh, surfing uh, point, you'll be passing by around these uh, pine trees. Unfortunately, I think we'll only gonna uh, stop here. Oh, we cannot proceed further because they block some fence. There's some fence here, and this is like a sort of like electric, maybe. So there is some bulletin here about. Green Belt program or something, Global Environment something facility, Management Department. So maybe they kind of like restrict this place for tourists. So we'll try to access that place from the beach side. So at the moment we're trying to find the access from this place. As there is a lot of pine trees around. A beautiful place here very like a uh, unique uh, area in uh, Arugan Bay or maybe because this place is being preserved uh, and not much people are coming here the moment we are walking climbing up to this like small mountain towards the beach side wow. amazing wow the waves here is amazing it's very clean look at that area There's no surfer here, only fishermen. So the surfing spot, the main point is behind of this rock. We're heading up to that rock to see uh, how it looks like from the backside. Because the surfing point is behind of that place. So we're gonna try to climb that rock. Start from here.
This is the last surfing uh, point or surfing place that we visited in the whole Aragon Bay. Very nice here actually. You can see it's barreling and it's clean. The only thing is there are some rocks in the middle of the ocean so you really need to understand because some rocks you cannot see on the ocean they are just like hidden underneath the water so now the question is how to go down this is a very steep going up from here but there should be a way Because of the Habayanas sponsor, before we travel to Sri Lanka, you don't need the hike. It's like surfing. It's a nice place to. Learn surfing here. I think this place it used to be like a tourist uh, like destination if you want to visit to uh, Argan Bay because I can see there are like establishment around but because this land it's maybe owned by the government so they kind of like close it and put a restriction on it that's why they put the fence when we're trying to enter this place this is how we're supposed to enter this place not by walking on the seashore we'll see how it looks like Mm. 
I think it used to be like a, like a room for rent because there's a lot of door you can see mm. used to be maybe a resort this place before but they closed it for some reason I don't know and they have like this vintage boat Beach point. Here is uh, no tourists allowed. Tourists not allowed to swim here. No English. No English. <laughs> then walking. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this. It used to be like a fishing boat before. Oh, yeah, they made okay. it like a house. <laughs> Very unique. In everyday usage, paradise can describe any location that is exceptionally beautiful, tranquil, such as tropical island, a lush garden, or any place that offers a sense of escape and serenity. <laughs> 